this is when I find out what one and a half times around the country has done to the blacking and the hull. Hopefully, as little as possible. They're going to back her in because my PowerPoint is at the back of the boat and there's free complimentary mains power while you're in what they call the wash bay. And initial impressions are that I am very surprised and pleased to see that the hull looks well pretty much the same as when it was put in obviously there's the green algae and weed on it but all things told I mean I was expecting dents and scrapes and all sorts but the hull is lovely and clean in terms of damage So he's just power washing the underside because it's easier to get to under there, under the swim. And then when that's done, he'll lower her down onto the blocks.
And it's all done and dusted. Four man job this. Well, as I was saying, I am very, very delighted with how this hole looks. Ignoring all the green weed, she's exactly the same as when she went in two years ago. All this here is just green algae. Some of the old blackings stayed on. And the stuff that's not so good has been blown off with the pressure washer. And the sacrificial anodes look almost the same as they did two years ago. And this will explain why she's felt a little bit lazy and sluggish of late. A lovely collection of plastic bags there. Something else that's been on my mind since, uh, well, on the Rufford branch, when I went to Fettler's Wharf the first time, I went into a lock and the ground paddle was stuck open and the flow of water slammed the back of Aslan into the sill in the lock. And I've been worried the whole time that this supporting beam at the back had been bent to one side or the other. Because when you looked at the top of the rudder in the water, it was leaning. But it looks like that is just a mere twist in the rudder itself. So I think I was quite lucky there. As well as three coats of blacking, I'm going to be buying and fitting a new fender at each end because these old ones are a little bit tired. Finally, I'll be painting all the green paintwork, scraping the rust off, giving it a wire brush, and a couple of coats of Hammerite smooth green. not pitting that's just areas of blacking which have stayed on that's years and years of good old bitumen and anywhere that they rust behind it'll come off with the pressure washer And the first coat is done. Kevin here at Garstang Marina works so fast that I had to pop out for an hour to go and buy some new front and rear rope fenders. But by the time I got back, he'd already done the first coat. So it's one coat down and two more to go. In the meantime, I've been going along with a paint scraper and removing any of the bubbling 
cream paint that's on the gunnels. And this is, it took me a while to find out what paint it was, but it's Hammerite Smooth Green, or Dark Green. So I bought a couple of tins of that. And of course Hammerite Smooth has a rust inhibitor in it. So once I've given it another little scrape and a wire brush, I'll be able to paint straight over that. All in all, considering she's been one and a half times around the country, I am very, very pleased with the way she's worn. Hardly at all, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, second coat is now going on. And it's nice to see in this day and age of high tech that everything still goes on with a good old roller. It dries incredibly quickly. It's already uh, still a little bit tacky, but uh, it's ready for me to start painting the green. Right, I'm just going over the uh, final few bits, final tidy up and any little bits I've missed. And then a wire brush. And she'll be ready for painting. All coming together very nicely. One of the guys here at the marina he just took a trip to the local bakers that I didn't know about to get pies. So I bunged him a couple of quid and he got me a pie. Chunky steak. Or as they say in this part of the world, chunky steak. Ooh, wow. Still warm as well. Just discovered they're called Hamlet's pies. Mm. The chunks of steak in this and the gravy and the pastry. Oh, proper chunky steak. I'm using a Harris 2 inch synthetic bristle brush. Very nice indeed. Right, and let's get slapping that paint on. Well, not so much slapping. Was that pie all right then? It was absolutely spot on. Hey, best one I've had in ages. Let's see how this goes then. Nice. Oh, there we go, see? Look at that. Proper match.
brush on, brush off. Right, I'm going to crack on with this and I'll see you again when I've done this side. Well that's one half done and I'm going to have a quick cuppa and then I'm going to do the other side and then tomorrow I have to give it another coat. Oh blimey. Well that took one 750ml tin of Hammerite smoothed out green and I have another tin which tomorrow I'll go around again but it will go on easier the second time round and I'll use less but that'll do me for today oh yes I'm quite pleased with that Yep, delighted. Well, the boat's now booked in to go back in the water tomorrow and there's just one job remaining which is to fit these new rope fenders. And then we just tighten them all up. Oh, it's not easy. The idea is to get it on there as tight as possible so it doesn't slip down the front. Oh, but it ain't, uh, ain't happening at the moment. Try that. Perfect. Finally. I just need to cobble together the chain that I salvaged from the old fenders and connect it to these D-rings either side. I've just been to the workshop 
and got this length of chain cut into two equal lengths. And I'm attaching it there and seam the other side. Make sure they're level as much as possible, like that. And that's it. Just a quick wash of the sides tomorrow when she's in the water and I'm a free man again. Good morning, it's quarter past nine on Saturday morning and in about three quarters of an hour Aslan is going to go back in the water. Even though she was lifted out on Monday, which is about five days, I have found myself in the last couple of days getting very real uh, withdrawal symptoms about being on the water. So I'm ready to get floating again.
and as quick as that, she's back on the water. And at last we're underway. Five days on dry land is enough for me. And straight away I can feel the difference in the drive with that plastic bag taken off. Quite a fantastic day. I've been very, very lucky with the weather all week. Quite easily the largest, most beautiful, friendliest and most helpful marina I have ever been in. There is nothing the staff here won't do for you. So Garstang Marina, thank you very much. It's been a very pleasant stay.